Today we're gonna to talk about 15 realistic side hustles to make an extra 500 to $1,000 a month. And this isn't gonna be your typical side hustle video where you hear them and then you go and investigate and they don't actually work. These are side hustles that I have either tried out myself, yeah. my team's tried out, or friends of mine have tried out, and they absolutely 100% work. We spend hundreds of hours making these videos to make sure everything we talk about is top quality. So if you appreciate us doing that, go ahead and gently tap that like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a hobby instructor. And this is literally where you just share either your passion or your expertise or some combination of both with other people. And this could be anything from knitting to exercising to helping other people get a job like I do, right? So I help people get a job. I help them make extra money so that they can be financially independent. And that is what this whole channel is all about. And this is something that I struggled with in the past myself. And once I was able to get this under control, get financial independence, my entire life changed. And all I wanted to do is talk to my friends about how amazing this stuff was and they were kind of bored of it, right? They probably didn't want to talk about financial independence all the time. And so what did I do? I created this channel so that I could share my ideas with the world. And I'm not the only one. There's about 500,000 people in the United States alone that make a full-time income from YouTube. And YouTube isn't the only platform you can do this on. There's blogging, there's Instagram, there's Twitter, there's LinkedIn, etc. And just as an example, here's a 36-year-old mom that makes 15,000 a month working 10 hours a week and her best advice for scaling an online business. And she basically talks about how she started teaching English on various websites. And she created two classes on the website OutSchool. One was on arts and crafts and the other one was about mastering the five pair paragraph essay. And she said that it took her a few months for the business to pick up. But in early 2021, she added six other classes and was netting $10,000 per month from the site working just 10 to 12 hours per week. Here's another example, Outdoor Boys, which is a YouTube channel. And this was started by Luke Nichols, who's a DUI lawyer who is now making content about his hobby, which is teaching people how to survive in remote areas with limited tools and equipment. So he makes really cool videos where he's like camping in Alaska in deep snow. So he's like in a snow burrow camping in Alaska, which is absolutely insane and awesome. He made another video where he's hunting, fishing, and crabbing in Florida and he's got a gator across his back. I mean, how cool is this? And I don't know if he reveals how much income he makes, but I'm sure he makes multiple six figures per year easily by doing this. Another way of earning by teaching people your hobbies is to do it through an online platform. So let's take yoga, for example. You could do myyogateacher.com, and this is where people offer online yoga classes. And you can see just a sample for different yoga classes. It's usually about $49 a month, and there's an unlimited plan, which is $69 a month. Then you've got one-on-one -on -one sessions, which is $89 a month. Oh, you feel it? All right, sorry about that. Had a quick little earthquake there. I'm back now. So as I was saying, one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions, like once per week, you only pay $89 a month on this website. Two one-on-one -on -one sessions per week, $149 a month. And then three one-on-one -on -one sessions per week is $219 a month. So if you don't wanna start your own social media platform, there's plenty of websites out there that will pay you in order to teach other people your hobbies or things that you're already an expert in. Another one is of course Udemy and there's literally thousands of people on Udemy that are making a full-time income by teaching other people what they already know. So I could go on and on. I could give you a million different examples of how you could do this. YouTube is my <laughs> personal favorite way of doing it. I would be a hypocrite if I said anything else because that's exactly how I was able to do it. I think it's easier to make money on YouTube and actually grow a real business on YouTube than any other platform form out there. So I thought that I would go ahead and mention this at the very beginning of the video because you know, it's what's changed my life. It's what's allowed me to have financial time and location independence so that I can be in remote parts of the world and experience these earthquakes in the middle of the day. But yeah, this one without a doubt is gonna get a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. With that being said, this is one where you may not be able to make money right away. Like you probably are not gonna be able to make money tomorrow, even if you go on these websites. And it is probably gonna take you some time uh, to build your clientele base up and make some money. But this is the one that has the highest opportunity by far 
in the long run out of all the ones on the list. And YouTube can be a tough nut to crack, which is why I actually coach a few people every month on how to actually grow and make money from their YouTube channels. I've gotten some insanely good results from this. I've got testimonials from people that are making, you know, over $180,000 a month, all the way down to people who are just making an extra couple thousand dollars a month doing it as a side hustle. But if you're interested in learning more about how to grow and make money from YouTube, I do take on a few coaching clients every month. We're very picky about who we take on because I simply just don't have that much time to teach people. But you can go ahead and check that out by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be waiting in line. Yes, you can actually get paid to wait in line and you can get paid pretty good money. So this is actually referred to as a professional line sitter or a professional line stander. And yes, this is an actual job that people do full time. And if you think about it, there are people out there that will wait at companies like Apple hundreds of hours before they release the newest iPhone or the newest iPad. And a lot of these people make really good money. So it doesn't really make sense for them to wait hundreds of hours. So what they'll do is they'll just pay somebody else to stand in line for them, hold their spot, and then when it comes time to actually open the stores and get the product, they'll replace them. And if you think about it, Americans spend on average 37 billion hours a year waiting in line. 37 billion. Ain't nobody got time for that. And there are people out there like this guy, for instance, that get paid thousands of dollars to sit in line and wait at these different events. And it's not just when Apple comes out with the newest iPhone, it's for different clubs, restaurants, concerts, building openings, etc. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can get into this. One app is going to be Spotblaze. And with this app, you can make on average about 25 to $35 an hour. And during holidays, you can get paid up to $70 an hour to stand in line. So this is a completely legit side hustle and it's even something you can do full time in some cases. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, did you know that you can earn thousands of dollars a month by working less than one hour per day? And this is exactly what I do by making content on YouTube. And I'm gonna be showing people how to do this with a live training where I reveal the five biggest secrets on how to grow and monetize your YouTube channel. And these are the same strategies that helped me to make thousands of dollars within my first few months of starting and taking YouTube seriously. And I also get checks like this almost on a daily basis. So I'll be hosting this at 9 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, and I'll also be giving away a free mini course, but only for people who attend the live training. Plus, I'll be conducting a live Q&A where I answer any questions that you have on how to grow or make money from YouTube. Now, I can only accommodate a limited amount of people because this is gonna be a live Zoom training where you're talking directly to me. So make sure you sign up now while it's still available by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be pet memorials. So this is when somebody's furry family friend dies and they want to celebrate their pet's life with flair. And this basically involves creating customized tributes and keepsakes to honor beloved pets who have passed away. And here are some examples of some of the memorials that people have made. This was actually one from 1881. So people have been doing this for hundreds of years now. And there's a story about a 55 year old who spent 15,000 on his side hustle, quit his 60 hour a week job and he now brings in 23,000 a month doing this. And basically he started this side hustle because his friend's dog Molly died and he happened to own a $15,000 engraver for a stone carving hobby. And Molly's concrete headstone turned out well and Melton decided to open up an Etsy shop in March of 2021. And a few initial orders turned into a handful of positive reviews and this turned into more orders. And then all of a sudden before he knew it, he was making over $20,000 a month doing this. And it's not just gravestones. There's lots of other different types of products out there that you can make in order to honor your pet. So for instance, there's different, you know, smaller stones, there's different types of urns where you can keep their ashes, and there's different types of garden ornaments, etc., where you can honor your pet as well. There's also necklaces, engraved crystal photos. I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff out there. And there's an entire category on Etsy that is dedicated to pet memorial, right? Just an entire category with thousands of different listings that's dedicated to pet memorial. So yeah, this is a legit side hustle. A lot of the time people do it locally. In some cases, they'll do it online 
as well. Of course, people will pay more for custom memorials where it's not just kind of like a cookie cutter type of thing. It's customized to their particular pet. And yeah, this is something that's really big. It also helps people out there. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you're liking this video, if this is something that you haven't seen before, if you're liking the fact that, you know, these are legit side hustles where you can actually make money, there's real people making tons of money out there doing these types of things, go ahead and give the video a like. And when I see videos that get a lot of likes, I tend to make more of those types of videos because you guys are basically giving me feedback. Next is going to be renting out baby gear. And this is one where I personally have a family friend who started an entire chain of stores basically doing this, right? So she started off by just kind of renting and buying and selling different types of baby gear. And then after she started as a side hustle and she was making really good money, just posting on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, she actually opened a physical store. Then she started making a ton of money from her physical store and she opened an entire chain of stores. And now she's probably got a business that's going to be worth multiple millions down the line. So the thing that makes baby gear so lucrative is first of all, people spend a ton of money on baby related stuff. And second of all, babies quickly grow out of whatever clothes you get them because babies grow really fast. And so you have to buy new stuff very quickly after that. And this is actually extremely wasteful in many cases. And that's why renting out baby gear or buying and selling baby gear is not only really good for the planet, but it's also extremely lucrative as a business or a side hustle. And there's platforms such as Babyquip where you can actually just make money doing this. It's designed to, for you to start this type of business. And it's a really easy platform to get started on. And there's this article from this lady who started on Babyquip and she says she makes $5,000 a month renting out baby gear. And there's also other examples of people who just do this as a part-time thing, just maybe one hour a month, something like that. And they're making hundreds of dollars a month. For instance, there's this Aussie mom, it says here, Rachel, uh, who makes about $400 a month. There's another website where you can rent out used baby gear. This is loop.baby. And yeah, this is a legit side hustle. Anybody who who's had babies probably has a bunch of extra baby clothes and they would probably just get rid of them. And so if you come in there and maybe you have a baby yourself, you could sell those clothes or rent them out, or you could go to all your friends and be like, hey, I'm gonna buy all of your old baby gear that you don't need anymore for a discounted price. And then you could sell that or rent it out as well. And yeah, people are making a ton of money doing this. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Next is going to be selling handmade crafts. And this is actually a booming business that I've seen a ton of people making a lot of money doing. Now there's a lot of different types of handmade crafts you can sell anything from rings to necklaces to wall decor to vases. I mean, just anything you can think of that's a physical product, you could probably make it as a handmade craft. And you can sell these on websites such as eBay, Amazon or Etsy. Now, Etsy is personally my favorite one for selling this type of thing. And I've met a ton of entrepreneurs in the last few years that have been crushing it on Etsy. Now, I'm just gonna give you guys the scoop. A lot of them, what they're doing is they make short form content, either on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube shorts. And then they drive people to their Etsy store where they can purchase these physical products. And here's an example of a special education teacher who makes up to $1,000 a month just making jewelry and crafts as a side hustle. And by the way, there's other platforms out there. You know, Etsy is not the only one you can use, but Etsy is the one that I see the most people having success with. There's IndyCart. So definitely check these different platforms out. But yeah, there are tons of people out there that are making lots of money selling these physical products. It's also really cool if you're an artsy, crafty type of person and you like making this kind of stuff anyways, you might as well make money doing it. So yeah, this is a really good one. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be collecting lost golf balls. Now I have been told in the past that I say the word golf weird. So I'm sure lots of people are going to be making fun of me in the comments section, but I'm sorry. That's just the way that I say golf, 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 whatever. But this is a completely legit side hustle. Now, if you've ever golfed yourself, you know how freaking expensive some of these golf balls can be. And you know how many of these golf balls get lost. I mean, I've gone through 12 golf balls in a single golfing session. And the average golfer, who's much better than I am because I suck at golf, loses over 100 golf balls a year. And there's a story of a teenager that makes over $2,100 a month part-time 
doing this side hustle where they actually offer their services for free. And basically what he did is he bought a golf ball retriever, which only cost him around $11. And he partnered with different golf courses and he basically just cleans them up, collects the golf balls, and then he sells them on the side. Then he organizes them by the highest value golf ball to the lowest value one. And a lot of these golf balls are worth around a dollar each. And some of the high end ones are worth a lot more than that. And he says he can earn over a hundred dollars by selling a hundred golf balls. Now, a lot of these golf balls you'll find in the forest or maybe some, you know, dense vegetation. One of the best ways to find them is actually to just get something that can go in the water and pick them up as well. And again, he's doing this service for free, but then he just sells the golf balls on the side and he's making thousands of dollars a month. So completely legit side hustle. I've seen people do this before. You can definitely make money from it. With that being said, you probably have to be in a certain area that has golf courses and they have to be okay with you doing that. And so I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment down below if you like any of these on the list or maybe you don't like them or maybe you think I missed one and I should have put it on this list. Let me know down in the comments below so we can all benefit from it. And if I see some that I like, I might include them on future videos. Or if you mention the ones that you really liked in the video, I might go more in depth on future videos. Next is going to be snow shoveling. All right, so this is gonna be for my folks out there that live in the Midwest or the North, and you live in a place where half the year there's snow on the ground. I used to be right there with you, and snow shoveling can be a great way of making money if you have this opportunity. Yeah, let's see it as an opportunity, right? Let's let's see the bright side. And a fun fact here is the earliest known snow shovel was found in a bog in Russia and it's 6,000 years old. And its blade was made from a carved elk antler section. And if you don't think you can make money from this, even if you're watching this and you're a teenager, well, here's this guy's six-year-old who funded a trip to Disneyland by shoveling snow. You guys know how freaking expensive Disneyland is? It is thousands of dollars. So yeah, this kid dreamed of going to Disneyland and and he shoveled snow and he made $3,300 for the trip as a six-year-old. Guys, it doesn't get much better than this. If a six-year-old can make $3,300, you can definitely do it as well. All right, and all he did is he went and he shoveled people's sidewalks, driveways, and pathways. And typically with snow shoveling, you can make $30 to $80 an hour. Now that's just basic snow shoveling, which literally all you need is a snow shovel to do. There are more advanced versions of this where if you have a truck, you can get like an industrial grade giant snow shoveler that you can put on the front of the truck. And then you can really make a lot of money doing that, a lot more than $30 to $80 an hour. In fact, there are people out there that only work like three to four months out of the year and they have this equipment and they make enough money to live the entire year just by doing this. So yeah, snow shoveling, legit side hustle. You can definitely make money from this. Chances are you're not gonna get rich doing it, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a website tester. So this is one of those where you can actually make money online. And basically what you're doing is you're testing out different websites and you're giving them feedback on the UI and the UX, which is the user interface and the user experience. And have you ever gone to a website and it's really difficult to use and you can't figure out where everything is and you're just like, man, this sucks. Well, a lot of companies are like that. And when you go to websites that are easy to use, are intuitive, it makes a huge difference. And this was actually one of Facebook's secrets to why they grew so fast is they were by far the most user-friendly social media website for the longest period of time. And there are countless examples of people talking about how they use websites like usertesting.com and they've made thousands of dollars doing it. So this is a person who made over $1,300 using user testing. And typically user testing is about 10 to $60 per website test. Now there's other websites out there where you can do this as well, like Try My UI and Userlytics. And here's the thing, you can make money and do this and it's great, it's a great side hustle. You're not gonna make a full-time income doing this, but this is truly a good way where you could make a couple hundred extra dollars a month. And it's something you can do it just about any time. So overall, this is not one of the best ones on the list, but it is something that just about anyone watching this video could do. And so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, UI, UX design, and website testing in general all falls under the general category of digital marketing. And digital marketing is one of the most valuable skills you could possibly learn, whether you wanna do it as a side hustle, freelance, 
get a job or start your own business. And it's one of those skills that is never gonna go away, right? We're gonna be doing digital marketing for the rest of our life. It's almost necessary if you are somebody who works in a high level job or you wanna start your own business or you want to have be a freelancer to know stuff about digital marketing. So it's incredibly useful. And if you want to actually get a full-time job as a digital marketer, well, you're in luck because I've actually helped a bunch of people do that. And there's a bunch of interviews with them on this channel. For instance, my business partner, Seth and I were able to help a 16 year old make over $40,000 a year. So currently right now I'm getting paid uh, $48,000 per year. And if you wanna check out exactly how he was able to do that, there's actually a free training, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. that will tell you everything you wanna know about digital marketing, the different types of digital marketing, and whether or not it's good for you and your personality. So definitely check that out. I'll put it down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a parking watcher. This is gonna be for somebody who has always fantasized about being a mall cop or a meter maid, but you're not quite qualified to do it yet. And this is basically where you monitor parking lots or streets, ensuring vehicles are safe and adhering to parking regulations and assisting drivers when needed, right? So it's not quite the prestigious career such as being a mall cop or a meter maid, but it's the closest you're gonna to get to it by doing a side hustle. Now, a fun fact about this is about 35% of land is used for parking lots, right? So this is a lot of land that's being used for this. And the average wage for a parking attendant is about 14 to $19 an hour. Now, what makes this a little bit different than being a parking attendant is that a lot of these types of things are seasonal or they happen every once in a while. So this is the type of thing that you could pick up during the weekend, pick up during different holiday seasons or different events events that are happening in the town you live in. And usually they have trouble finding people to do these things. And so this is something where you can approach local businesses, maybe approach your local chamber of commerce and just let them know that you're open to picking up these kind of shifts. And yeah, you're not gonna make a full-time income from this unless you become like a parking lot attendant, but that's probably not the best job in the world to do. And even if you did do it, you probably wouldn't wanna do it for very long. But with that being said, there are a lot of opportunities to make extra money and pick up extra shifts. And so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be clothing alterations. So this is gonna be for my crafty people out there again. If you're somebody who already knows how to crochet or knit or sew, and maybe you're somebody who likes creating Halloween costumes, or maybe you're into kind of like anime costumes and doing cosplay stuff, or you just like to be crafty and repair your own clothes, this could be a great opportunity for you. So there's a lot of other people out there that do those same things, but maybe they don't necessarily have time. And this is where you step in and you help them out and you get paid to do it. And an interesting fact about this is every single year there's 92 million tons of clothing waste that ends up in landfills. 92 million tons, guys. Can you even fathom how big that number is? You could repair them so that you can wear them longer or you could turn them into a costume for Halloween or you could use them as cosplay material or you could just make completely new clothes out of old clothes. And not only can you make money doing this, but it's also good for planet Earth, which is great, right? There's a couple examples of this. Um, there's a self-taught tailor who went from altering clothes for dry cleaners to making custom suits for The Weeknd. Now, The Weeknd is, of course, a very famous artist. And this guy basically talked about how he started off after he got fired from his banking job and he basically started making alterations for a dry cleaning company and eventually he ended up creating suits and now he of course makes multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars a year now there are websites that actually make it easy to start doing this for instance air tasker is a really good one just to give some examples uh, putting on a new button typically costs about three dollars shortening or lengthening something is about fifteen dollars tapering something's about twenty five dollars waistband alterations are about twenty five dollars half pockets are about twenty five dollars and rehemming is about 20, and then restitching is usually 10 to $40. Another way you could make money doing this is taking old clothes, fixing them up, and then reselling them on a marketplace such as Facebook or eBay. So yeah, this is good as a side hustle. You could even potentially turn it into a full-time thing. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. The next one is a really good one, and that is furniture flipping. Guys, there are people out there that are crushing it by flipping things like couches and lazy boys. And basically what they're doing is they're buying these old couches, they're refurbishing them, and then they're reselling them. So you buy an old couch, you fix it up a little bit, you clean it up, and then you resell it, and you can make a ton of money doing this. Now, think about it, guys. A lot of these couches sell for like five, ten thousand $10,000 when they're brand new. And of course, after a few years, they're gonna look a little beat up, 
and then the resale value is going to be much lower than it originally was. But if you can make it look brand new or close to brand new, you can sell it for close to what the initial sales price was on it. And there are a ton of people out there that are making money doing this. So this person, for instance, said they made $15,000 in February alone from abandoned furniture, literally just abandoned furniture. They just picked it up, it was completely free. They fixed it up, they cleaned it up, and then they resold it and they made $15,000 in February alone. And they say that they use websites such as Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, Neighbors, and thrift stores. And I can't tell you how many people are making a full-time income, even just doing it part-time, buying and selling furniture. And flippers are typically making between $500 and $10,000 a month. And they're earning between $1,500 and $2,000 per piece of furniture they flip. So yeah, this one is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. Something a little bit similar, but a little bit different at the same time is going to be reselling thrifted goods. So this is kind of like being a treasure hunter, except you are hunting in an urban environment and you're going to thrift stores. So you basically go out there, you're kind of looking for all kinds of different things that you would find at thrift stores. You look up the value of these things online, then you might buy them for $1 and sell them for like $30 to $50 online. And if you don't think you can make money from this, here's a 25 year old who made over 103,000 euros selling secondhand clothes online, right? And she was able to quit her job because of this side hustle. On average, resellers make about $30,000 per year in their first couple of years. But keep in mind, most people are doing this part-time and that's almost a full-time income. I mean, in some places that might actually be a full-time income. So you'd use a lot of the same websites to do this, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, Mercari, OfferUp, et cetera. And you have to kind of specialize in something. So for instance, if you're really into clothes, you'll probably have a good eye for which clothes are gonna be able to resell for more. But yeah, this is a great way to make money. I'll go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is being an elderly companion. And this is somebody who basically provides companionship, assistance, and support to seniors. An interesting fact about this is about 70% of people who are 65 and over are going to be needing what's known as long-term care. But what the medical system doesn't really provide is companionship and just basic support. And so there's actually a huge market for just simply going and hanging out with them and maybe doing a few tasks around the house for them. And companion caregivers typically make about 20 to $35 an hour. Now there's ways of doing this in an actual official medical capacity. Of course, you'd have to actually get licensed for that. But there's also ways of just doing this kind of as a side hustle as well. So yeah, this is another good one. Um, people are getting older and older because modern medicine is getting better and better. And there's more and more people who need help and support. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a personal or private chef. Guys, this is an amazing side hustle to do. So many people out there are having inflammation issues and there's so many diets out there that different people have to adhere to. Just to give you an example, a lot of people are sensitive to gluten and so they have to eat certain foods that don't have gluten in them. A lot of other people like to do things like the keto diet or the carnivore diet. And of course, there's certain foods that they can't eat because of that. And if you can specialize in one of those types of diets and then make really good food that doesn't inflame people, but at the same time tastes really good and it's also healthy, you can make a ton of money doing that. And that's exactly what you should do. You should specialize. Don't be a generalist chef. And so for instance, there are a ton of people out there that make a ton of money as keto chefs. And if you can be a chef that is keto, right cooks keto food and you can actually make it taste good and make it healthy you can make a killing doing this and people will pay you top dollar to just deliver the food to them weekly so as an example this guy made fourteen thousand dollars a month as a private chef for parties so that's another thing you could do you could be a private chef for private parties that people are having there's even a chef named chef lionel who makes $10 million a year, right? So he basically is a carnivore slash keto focused chef. And he taught a bunch of other people his philosophies and how he cooks for health. Now on average, according to payscale.com, personal chefs make about $25 an hour. Now that's okay. But again, if you specialize in something, you can make way more money than that. And I've seen people who have started local businesses where they basically just deliver food. They, they shop for the food, they cook the food, and they deliver it to these families. Usually these families are upper class, they have more money. And that's a way for these families to save a ton of time and effort on their food and they exchange money in order to save that time. And I've seen these local businesses making multiple six figures a year in profit doing this. So yeah, this is a huge opportunity 
Uh, becoming a personal chef, amazing opportunity. You do have to find the right niche to do it in. You can advertise your services on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, or just by word of mouth. And you wanna make it as convenient as possible for the person. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. The next one is one of my absolute favorites. And I mention this on almost every video that I make because it's so good. And that is being a handyman and specifically using the app task rabbit so i can't tell you how awesome this app is and how useful it is now depending on the area you live in it may or may not be available if it's not available you can still be a handyman you can advertise your services on craigslist or facebook marketplace this is something that i did when i was younger when i was in high school as well as college is i would just help people with random different tasks so one of the big ones i did for instance was i'd help people with painting i'd also help people with moving stuff so helping them to box stuff up and move it from point a to point b and i made a ton of money doing this and there's all kinds of different handyman related services that you can do using an app like TaskRabbit. Anything from furniture assembling, setting up tech, uh, installing and mounting a TV, maintenance, repair, home improvement, just so many different things that you can be hired for as a handyman. And it's honestly not that hard to learn how to do these things. And you get paid minimum $35 an hour on TaskRabbit. And a lot of people make more than that, plus they get tips. So there are people that are making full-time incomes on TaskRabbit. And I get a lot of people who come to me and they ask me like, Shane, you know, I don't have time to start up one of these longer side hustles. I don't have time to get a job. I need to make money right now. What would you do? And my answer is go out there and do physical labor. Handyman services, uh, if TaskRabbit's available, do that. You can make a ton of money with very little, just absolute minimal input and minimal skills as well. There's so many people out there that need just a little helping hand, a few hours here and there doing all these different home-related maintenance tasks. There's this guy, for instance, who quit his job to make 20,000 euros a year as a side hustle, and it's just enough to get him by. And he basically just does furniture assembly, that's all. But on average, handymen make about 60 to 75 dollars per hour. So in many cases, these people are not working full time. They're working maybe 10, 20 hours a week at most, and they're making a full time income. There's also house cleaning. House cleaning can be extremely lucrative. There's entire channels dedicated to house cleaning. For instance, Mrs. Messy makes over $3,000 a week just cleaning houses. That's over $150,000 a year. So there's tons of opportunities for these random little side gigs, you know, home cleaning services, handyman type services. It's really, really good. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, I made a video that went semi-viral, got hundreds of thousands of views, and it talks about a bunch of different AI-related side hustles. And yes, there's a lot of weird and scammy content out there with AI-related stuff, but these are some actual good ones that I found. And if you want to check that video out, you can do it by clicking right here.